What case escalation rules allow you to do is have several different rule sets in place that monitor your cases and take appropriate action to escalate those. Salesforce allows you to build in different case escalation rules, which allow you to do two things, and this is important. It allows you to either uh, upgrade this case and send it off or assign a different user or owner of the case, as well as send off emails to case owners or maybe team leads. So I wanna jump in and show you what this looks like. So I'm under here, I'm gonna go under the escalation rules. And you'll notice that there's two places here. We have the escalation rules, which I'm gonna set up. And then you have case escalations to where you can actually see maybe what cases have triggered escalations or could potentially trigger escalations to monitor very well. So under the case escalation rules, this is very similar to how you can set up, you know, lead assignment, case assignment rules. Uh, you can set this up to have multiple different rules that then trigger off different uh, actions. So I'm just going to click into the standard rule that I have here and you'll see just like the case assignment we set up, you can have multiple rules or rule entries and have uh, essentially an order or a hierarchy on which ones are most important. So if you see on my screen here, uh, really what, what I'm looking at is these platinum SLAs are top of the, the order, right? Then I have gold and then silver, bronze, etc. And so what's really important is that each rule can have a different action. So if I were to click into this top rule, which is a platinum SLA or service level agreement, meaning this is extremely important, we need to get to this ASAP. If you see here, as I click into the rule, you're able to set up escalation actions, which as I mentioned, meaning you can either update assignment of the case and send off notifications. So I'll, let me create just a brand new one here. Um, and what's gonna, what I can do here is I can set up the time. If the case is still open, I can set up a time limit for this action to happen. Again, that action can be updating the ownership or updating or sending an email. And so again, this is only for open cases. If it's a closed case, awesome. Your team did their job. No need to, to hassle your team. It's already closed out. And so you can do it by, uh, you know, different increments here. Um, in this case, you know, I will do um, three hours and 30 minutes, right? And so what I can do here is I can choose whether I want to reassign this or send off an email. You know, likely I want maybe a, a case owner and maybe I want, you know, the executive team, right? At testcompany.com, right? So I want my executive team to know, hey, we have a very important case, a very important client. Maybe they want to reach out personally after three hours and 30 minutes and give them a personal touch, right? Uh, we can also send out the different notification. We can set up a template to send off uh, as well to the case owner, additional email, or even specific users. Could be a team lead, could be the support uh, manager, et cetera. And so again, these are important for the action. You can either reassign it or you can send off an email and you can reassign it back into a queue or send to a user and again, notify, uh, send out this emails as well. So if I hit save here, we'll now see, oh, apologies, need to set up a, a template here. So I'm gonna go ahead uh, and put it in, I'll just put the sample here. And so you'll see here that now I have two different rules, right? So after two hours, it's gonna get reassigned to someone and they're gonna get sent an email. After three and a half hours, you know, it, we want to actually send it off to the case owner as well as the executive team so that they might need to reach out personally because this is a platinum uh, SLA agreement. And so that's just that first escalation rule, right? As I mentioned, each, each entry, every rule entry can have a different action. So that was just that first one. If I go down the list, maybe down here to maybe a lower, uh, lower tier of a case, you know, this one is set up for six hours, right? It's not super high priority. If I don't close it within six hours, then there'll be some action taken. And so case escalation allows your team to stay on top of high priority cases and make sure that you have any update of ownership as well as important 
email notifications internally get sent off to make sure that they are working important cases uh, and that they are closing them out appropriately.